Hello YouTube, Ugly Prepper here. Hope everyone's having a blessed day. Hope you're working on your preps. Hopefully, if you're like me, you're not uh, standing in line at the gas station. You've already prepped beforehand. So, that's good. I want to talk to you uh, today about a subject matter that I don't think is uh, brought up enough. I was in my survival guide here uh, last night reading and uh, I, I certainly realized there were some things that I needed to add to my bag whether it be a bug out bag, get home bag, whatever your bag is missing this key piece of information I'm trying to see what the camera's doing, okay so uh, Everybody who has a bag typically has, or hopefully has, a little something like this in it. Alright, I'm going to open this up. Get out of the way, son. I'm not playing ball right now. Alright. This, if you can see that, this has my Sunto compass, my lead pencil, uh, it has my writing rain notepad in it, and it has some of the information that came with the Sunto in case I need it for uh, reference. Oh, and it has my map in it as well, my paper map. Everybody should have a paper map, in my opinion. Okay. So this is what I'm wanting to talk about today. Let me uh, get this stuff here out of the way so it don't get mud on. If you have a, a notebook or something to write on in your kit, in your pack, I believe there's some information that you should record in your notebook or in your paper supplies. And uh, I got to studying on signaling last night. Uh, signaling using mirrors, signaling using different types of signaling. There's a lot of types of signaling, y'all. Lots. I mean, do you know what a white flare means? Do you know what a green flare means? Do you know what a red flare means? There's lots of different types of signaling and lots of valuable information that you may need uh, to save your life. Uh, there's ground to air signal codes. Okay, so there's there's tons of uh, signaling, uh, whistle signaling codes for whistles. Tons of signaling. Uh, your homework today is go get in your book uh, similar to this. Uh, in this particular book, it's under rescue, uh, but in your book, it may be under emergency signaling or something to that effect. I'm not playing ball, Rocky. No. But, uh, so I got out my notebook and started recording some of the important information about signaling. Uh, and, you know, some of you may have all this stuff memorized already. I highly doubt it, but you might. But even if you do, when under duress or under like in a, an emergency situation, you may not be able to think straight. Or there may be people with you who need this information as well. So what I've done is I've turned to the back of my book. I've given myself about four pages in the back. And I have created a reference section in my writing rain notebook or notepad. Uh, and in this section, I have recorded ground to air signal codes, uh, flare, flare signals. Um, I happen to know Morse code because I'm a ham radio operator, but if you need to write down what your Morse code symbols are uh, and how to do them uh, on a flashlight or with sound, you can do that too. But uh, I just thought this was... If I'm doing this, maybe somebody else would like to do this as well. Uh, 
you know there are signals there are ground signals and you can use whatever you got you can if it's snow you can try you can just use your foot and make signals in the snow you can use excuse me you can use logs uh, and make signal fires uh, there's a code for signal fires uh, and you can make ground signals using debris leaves dry dead grass uh, sticks whatever you got you can make these ground to air signal codes that if you're lost or if you have a serious injury or need medical supplies or need food and water or just need to be picked up and rescued there are codes for this move dog there are codes for each thing so I just thought this could be a key piece of information in your kit and you know if you're if you're a physical specimen and you can want to take this book and I mean this is a bigger copy they make smaller copies of this book but I'm blind as a bat so I need the, the larger print okay but uh, I do realize they make miniature copies of this book or smaller copies but if you're a, a physical specimen enough to want to carry all these books and stuff around there's another it's a black book it's a reference book that a lot of preppers carry or keep as well um, I don't have that one yet I'll be trying to get it probably Rocky leave it alone son uh, so yeah I thought uh, it's important to have these signals have this signaling information uh, and there are also signals that pilots can give like if you're going to be rescued by a plane you know they can answer you with a wing tip they can do a couple of wing tips like this and this gives you one answer i'm not going to give you all, all this information y'all need to get in here and look it up and read it for yourself uh but pilots can answer uh ground code messages by moving the plane in certain directions and doing different things so um i just thought how great could it be to uh to take this invaluable this invaluable information this important information and record it what you need of it record it in the back of your writing the rain notepad and you'll have it uh with you and you don't have to carry all these heavy books and stuff uh, but like you said like I said if you can carry around a hundred pound pack go for it props to you but uh, I can't you know I'm over 50 I'm you know I have some some problems back problems and such so uh, I just thought this was an invaluable uh, way to take this information along with you and I've got more pages that I don't have stuff on yet, but I'm going to continue going through my survival guide. And if there's other information I need to put in here, then I will do that. So I just thought this was, uh, you know, I just thought if I thought it was a good idea, it might be a good idea for you folks as well. Uh, so, yeah, get in your books, learn about signaling if you don't have one of these SAS survival handbooks or there's other survival handbooks not just the SAS there's different ones but the special air service is one a lot of people depend on uh, and so either get in your book or get online and search emergency signaling uh, ground to air signaling uh, another thing and I should have prepped this beforehand, but I just now thought about it. Come on, bag, work with me here. Get this out of here. Nope, that's not it. Give me a second, y'all. I'm gonna pull that out. Here we go. Here we go. If you're going to have a bandana in your kit, and I believe you, sh you should, you should probably have a couple, really. But, uh, as you can see, this one's been used for a little bit of char cloth. It's got some pieces cut out of it. But have a bright colored bandana. 
and you can actually attach these to a pole get a stick or a Y branch or whatever and attach these to a pole there are signal codes for using a, a flag like this or a signal flag which is what they call it so if you're going to have some bandanas some 100% cotton so that way you can use them for char cloth if you need to or for water filtration or for protecting yourself from dust whatever have them in some bright colors i like the green ones and the camouflage as, as much as anybody but in this life baby right here uh i have my Ar Ar arctimus i have my arctimus tarp in here it's a tarp in a little bag and that's what i use for my personal covering shelter but i keep this in here i've never used it but it's bright orange and uh, I've never pulled it out, but uh, I have opened it up enough to, to see that the shelter itself is bright orange. And you can use this as a signal device as well. So, I mean, that orange and it's shiny, it's going to stick out like a sore thumb. So if you need rescuing, uh, have something brightly colored. Uh, and uh, you can also use this for, I believe they call it, uh, oh, the term escapes me. Uh, it's something you, uh, well, anyway, if you need a certain area, you can tie this to a tree, make it very visible, and you can search an area, and as long as you keep this in sight, you can search an area without losing your bearing on a compass. Waypoint, that's what it's called. You can use this, attach this to a tree, uh, and use it as a waypoint. That's another way, that's signaling to yourself, hey, I'm getting too far away from where my pack is or where the, my current bearing is uh, that I'm traveling on. So, I just thought this was important. Uh, if it's important enough for me to want to write this information, record it in my book, I thought some of you out there may want to do the same. So, um, that's what I wanted to cover today. It is beautiful in Alabama. Could not ask for better weather today. I'm trying to do this in the shade so that I can kind of see what the screen's doing. So, uh, y'all have a blessed one. And, uh, prep something today. Uh, get in your get in your books and study something today tons of information in here on trapping medicinal plants look poisonous snakes how to identify those the ones you don't want to mess with uh, this thing the my book uh, here has color pictures in it and stuff uh, not tying so much valuable information uh, self-defense, urban survival, it's all in here, y'all. Uh, I decided last night to turn the TV off, to turn YouTube off for a change, and to get in there and study my book and uh, get some of this knowledge, because uh, it can sure help you, and it can sure save your life. Uh, I think this is a whistle that fell out of that thing. Yeah, it works a little bit. Uh, but I just don't want to lose it. So, have a blessed day. Hope you're not standing in line at the gas pumps. Hopefully you prepped ahead of time. Uh, that's all I got, y'all. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you like the video or a thumbs down if you don't like it. Uh, and uh, appreciate you viewing our videos. Uh, share them if you can. Uh, if share them with people in your mag or people in your family. Uh, sorry, my dog's butt just went across the camera. <laughs> and uh, Ripper, leave it alone, son. So uh, we're having a good day here. We're doing the things and uh, prepping as much as we can, watching the birds eat off the bird feeder, enjoying life a little bit this morning. So, uh, I mean, the weather's just perfect for it. I've rambled on enough. God bless y'all. Appreciate you watching. Oh, good prepper. We're out.